It is 543 everybody. We're talking with Paul this morning because NASA accomplished another milestone last night. Yes, they did. As you might expect, meteorologist Paul Gross was watching live <laughs> as it happened and is pretty excited this morning. Good morning, Paul. Yeah, good morning. This is very high up on the Paul Gross way cool meter. What NASA basically did was lowered a spacecraft touched an asteroid, collected a sample, and they're going to return that to Earth. Now, let me show you how this happened. What they did, and this was like basically in slow motion, very slowly lowered a spacecraft called OSIRIS-REx, and it touched the surface of this asteroid called Bennu for about five seconds, collected a sample, and now it's going to store that sample, and it's going to bring it back to Earth. Now, we don't have images from last night's event yet, but back in August, they did a test run and they lowered the spacecraft to about 130 feet above the asteroid. We actually have images from that. So what you're about to see here are real images. It didn't touch here. This was as it approached the landing site. I shouldn't call it a landing site, the touch site to collect that sample. So this is real imagery from the test run in August. So we're going to keep tabs on this, but uh, we need to know about asteroids. Not only are they like comets and that they are leftover bits of stuff, left over from the origin of our solar system. But remember, asteroids occasionally pass near Earth. So by learning more about their density, then we can learn more about is there anything we can do if one should be approaching Earth. So again, that's the latest. We'll keep you updated on the whole thing as it unfolds over the next uh, uh, couple of years until it returns that sample in 2023. But right now, it's time for the new four zone at home. So let's send it out to Brandon there in Gross Point Woods. Paul, quick question. Yeah. Osiris Rex, what is that was the aircraft. That's a really cool name, but what does it stand for? Well, Osiris was the Egyptian god way back when, but it's an acronym, and i got to read this to you because I'll never remember this. It stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security, Regolith Explorer. So let's stay with Osiris-Rex. Oh. <laughs> now without looking, go. No. No, I'm kidding. Nope. All That's right. all I got. Great job, Paulie. Thank